All right, everybody, hop a day and welcome back to KM News Extra. Now, each and every one of us out there, regardless of where we're from, how we grew up, has creativity inside us and has something to say. However, not that many people know how to tap that ability, how to harness it, and best get that out. And that is where our friends at the Expression Workshops come out. Amber and Jessica are with us today, and we are going to talk about that very ability and what your organization is doing to let people realize their potential as far as being expressive. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, how, how did this all come about? Obviously, the both of you are extremely creative yourself. <laughs> well, um, I, I, uh, my partner, my business partner and I, Roman, and I uh, started a tutoring company a few months ago called Thrive Tutoring Services, and um, we wanted to we wanted to do something special for the summer. We wanted to make a splash, and we're we're both we both we love to be creative, and we have a lot of really creative friends like Amber. So we decided to put together a workshop, and we called up our friends, and we said, "Hey, would you like to do this with us?" And uh, here we are, <laughs> halfway through it too. Or we've done. Uh, I think uh, about four workshops so far, and it's going pretty good. Mm -hmm. And just to, just to let everybody know for sure out there, this isn't merely just about art, like about drawing or something like that. You guys are working with the printed word, the spoken word, you know, mm -hmm. uh, creativity, and you know, like Amber, I know you've got some absolutely beautiful pieces here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah and there's it spans all sorts of things. Um, we, there were a few that happened already. Yeah. So actually. Um, uh, I think we're so hip because like our, the first workshop we did was on blogging because I, bl I, I believe that um, yeah, you can make all the art you want, but if you don't know how to get yourself out there in this digital age that we live in, then, you know, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we had a blogging workshop and we taught, uh, my sister Michelle taught um, everyone how to set up a blog, how to make it look nice, um, how to market yourself on the internet, stuff like that. And um, and then uh, the other workshops that we had, we did we did printmaking with Lindsay Kane, and we did um, portrait drawing with John Bermudez. And uh, this past Saturday, we had um, an oil painting workshop with Jeff Egan. And uh, I don't know if the audience knows his name, but he just finished a mural at the Disitani. This huge mural. I think it's on the second floor. And I've seen that one. It's beautiful. I was just there yesterday. <laughs> so he was amazing. teaching. He was teaching with for our workshop on Saturday, and it was so cool um, to have him there. So, so the, next one is, the next one is going to be my workshop. And so I'm actually co-teaching with James Bamba, who's a local weaver. And it's a two-part course over the duration of the day. So he's going to be teaching. We're going to start out with a fish, which is this little guy. Mm -hmm. So he's going to teach people how to weave a fish. Oh, with just hold that up, because we'll get like yeah. a shot of that. That is gorgeous. The, the amount of detail, considering the scale, uh -huh. is what's most impressive to me. Right, yeah. How, totally. how are you guys able to, I mean, it's, it's almost like, you know, those ships that you can erect like in the bottle and everything right. like that. Yeah. How do they do that? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's <laughs> such a wonderful representation of the object, in this case, like right. a sea creature and everything like that. But I mean, it's, it's so perfectly it, done. It, well, he is, he's a very talented he's man, extremely. but we'll start out big. So this workshop will be open to everybody. So they get to make a large fish. <laughs> very cool. And then slowly scale it down. So the second part of the workshop um, is going, I'm going to talk about gemstones and gemstone identification, just, yeah. and also the metaphysical qualities of the stones. Mm -hmm. So this fish, um, I chose citrine because I'm a merchant. I make jewelry for a living, and, and citrine is the merchant stone, and it's supposed to bring in material abundance. So that's what this guy is right here, this big old yellow crystal, quartz crystal is a citrine. So I'm going to talk about the different stones at the workshop, and then people will choose the stones that they feel like best represent themselves or that they want to express themselves with creatively somehow, and pair it with the weaving that they make. Now, if I may, there, there's an interesting relationship there because, like, you know, I grew up thinking at some point, like, music was actually going to put, <laughs> you know, clothes on my back and food in my stomach. Obviously, that worked out well. But, <laughs> but I remember somebody said, you know, when you choose an instrument, if, if you're musically inclined, the person does not choose the instrument. The instrument chooses the person. Totally. Is that kind of the same dynamic? Same with like thing. Stone? Like so. So if if I attended your course in your mm -hmm. workshop, and I came upon a bunch of these stones and everything, I would just be able to know from a feel. Or I just yeah. have like an in yep. instinctive thing. And my guess is, as soon as you look at the table, there'd be one that you just be like, "Oh, what's that?" And that pick big it blue up one. <laughs> that's the one. Well, <laughs> see this one right here. This big blue one is a communication stone. And since you work in communicating with the world, it would make sense hey. that you would be drawn wow. to the communication stone. This is my so. BFF right here. <laughs> there you go. There you go. 
Very so nice. So that's that. And then if any men wanted to attend the workshop, this is actually made for your rear view mirror. You know, mm -hmm. so you can hang it in there because I know not, not all men want to wear a piece of jewelry like this little guy. So we can also do a hang for the window in your car. So Very that nice. way it's a workshop that everybody, mm. either sex, and also all ages. All ages. All yeah. ages. Generally speaking, how does someone realize the creative potential within themselves and how are they able to, you know, channel it, harness it, and learn to release it, ho hopefully like at their, you know, at their own disposal? Yeah, well, that's why... Um, and I thought I was crazy for doing this at first because like this everything in our workshop all of these things are different ink painting oil painting weaving like none of this makes sense but like it's kind of like with the stones you you look at it and you go for the one that appeals for you the mo uh, to you the most and then um, what Roman and I have been realizing because of course we're at every single workshop we have to be there but with some of them we had the chance to participate with with the students so like for example, when we were doing printmaking with Lindsay, we had no idea what printmaking was. Like we were like, well, it looks cool. The finished product Wasn't looks it your cool. your first art class? It was too? my first art class of my whole life actually. Well done. <laughs> yeah. and, and then we started you know, learning the process of creating, carving a print and drawing it, carving it, um, and laying it out in the ink, all this, all this stuff. And I was like, wow, that was the most fulfilling art experience I've ever had. Like, so you kind of just, you, you have to go there, you have to do it, and, and the feeling will come, like, at when, mm. in the process and after the process, you'll, All right. you'll realize it. That's well, ladies, sticky. I hate to cut you off, but we have to go to commercial break, but where, um, I know you have a Facebook page, and uh, what URLs can people check you out at, what phone numbers can people call? Okay, well, um, so the best way to learn about uh, Thrive is, um, to find us on Facebook, you can do that by searching Thrive Tutoring Services Guam. And then the best way to reach us is through phone. Um, you can call, text, whatever, 988-6620. That's my business phone. And then our email is thriveguam at gmail.com. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank All you. Right, thank All you. Right. Please stay tuned, everybody. We are back after this.